Alrighty, I'm back. This time I'm just going to talk about nothing in particularly interesting, unless, of course, you're a little philosophically interested. I don't know if you are, but pick and choose as you like. Um, Got my sweet dog, Nanak, right here. Got my weird accent, uh, Danish slash half something something uh, i don't know really what it is i have a stuffed nose and uh yeah i'm having a cold <laughs> just just in general under the weather it's not that enjoyable but it is what it is um today i'm going to talk about um the subject of why or question mark if you want to leave it at that <laughs> i don't know you choose um but why the, the expression in, in itself why 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 is it wrong to use it why don't people embrace it people love to hate on people who are asking too many questions who are digging in way too much yeah if you're a journalist i can see it being a problem but really if you if you got a, a true heart a, a great heart not literally, but uh, of course you could have a great heart as well. But but if you've got nothing hidden in the closet, uh, I, I I can't see wh- why is it wrong to ask further down. Why do p- people always get so sensitive when you ask further into a subject, ask further into something? Because people are so disingenuous in general when you're talking to them because they want they always want you to be interested in something people hate loathe people who are not keen or seem just at least mildly interested in them their people hate that despise it but but then when you really truly embrace it and you ask further and people get like like they haven't thought of a scenario where people uh, a guy, a girl, you're going to talk about with. Why haven't you figured it out that maybe someday somebody is going to do it? And and then it seems like they're just shutting down. It's and then they turn it around like, why are you even asking? <laughs> but it's. I think it's quite remarkable. At, at at least in my point of view, I think it's funny, all the double standards when it comes to that because people, likes to be so pretentious about everything about things when in social life at least and i know i got um autism but doesn't mean my my brain doesn't work doesn't mean that i can't ask questions it doesn't mean either that 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 i'm wrong just because i'm curious and i i think it's it's a weird social standard that uh, that's being thrown into the mix or into the pot or whatever you want to call it the last not the last couple of years just in general at least in western society or let's just more specifically just here in denmark uh, i think it's terrible that you can't ask why to something why, why and you can only do it to specific subjects you can't ask the question why to golden things in the society highest higher things on a something on a pedestal it's it's wrong to say why because then you're questioning and that is the the core of this um, to be honest you you are asking somebody who got authority or who is higher than you it's like a magic trick a famous quote from the prestige once the people of the mob knows the game of a trick it's not magical anymore <laughs> once or just to simplify it once they know that you know something about it it's not interesting anymore it's not funny anymore it's not anything anymore it's not drama it's nothing it's just pure vapor it's it's nothing at all and people want to have excitement but they don't want unforeseen excitement per se people want to be want 
to be safe uh, or live their life, they don't want to question themselves. They don't want to question. And I, I know there's a different difference between questioning everything and just questioning simple, simple things. It, it could be, why do you keep doing stupid things here in life? Well, uh, mm, I, I, I don't know. Well, why don't you maybe just think about things for a second? I ask them constantly to myself since I haven't done that many things right in my adult life. But I've certainly not messed up everything. And I've certainly at least tried to comprehend what is going on. Why, how can people live in a world where they are instilled with fear and such, constantly talking about expressing it, uh, being expression it, <laughs> you can't say that, but constantly talking about it, feeling it, uh, moaning about it, crying about it. Why are you then playing right into its hand? Why are you playing right into life's pig of the litter? I, I don't know what to call it. Why are you acting so stupid? Why are you giving away the cards you are good at? Of a game you are good at? Why are you just doing things to be able to do such things? Why are you being a douchebag to somebody? Why are you being disingenuous? Uh, why are you playing double standards all the time and then constantly pointing fingers at everything that's wrong? Uh, what is this shit? I, I don't know, but half the problems the population got stems from themselves and they don't want because people like to say well i constantly soul search and find my problems and yeah you do that when you're 50 or 40 and have a midlife uh, crisis but uh, how on earth can you not do it or take on the problems from a much earlier stage where it's not that it's a problem but it's not that exaggerated as it is when you are so far down the line and and you're and it's just a question why why have you not thought about it why have you not thought about the stupidity of your lifestyle your over ambitious life goals that you can't achieve unless you're really fortunate and yeah many things in this life is purely about fortunes at least, at least in uh, my perspective, it is. You need something to go your way. You need some leeway at some point. But then again, you will always find, and there's been several, uh, this is almost through humanity, always been a questioning, uh, not a questioning, sorry, there's always been a melancholy uh, kind of vibe about life. Why does it always go wrong? Well, sorry to put it, you haven't. You, you can think about it when it's gone wrong, but you can't take it on earlier because you don't want to ask yourself really, what is going on here? What is this? I can certainly see things go wrong and yeah, it leaves with you with a certain kind and you need to have been through time, tough times, at least in my opinion. That's when I started doing it, at least a little more often. They always have like a plan B, a plan C, and you don't need a plan 500 uh, and such. You just need to have the situation thought, of, uh, thought through, uh, which to me is not that hard. You need to link things together. And sometimes life is not simple with emotions. There's so many variables, it's hard to tell what is right and what, what is wrong but and yeah you not if everybody just acted like they wanted to themselves yeah of course it would probably go wrong but that's not a question we want to an answer either that's not a why we don't want that either what would happen well you could make a book about it but nobody would or write a book about it but nobody would truly try to embrace it um Certainly, a certainty uh, is what we want, and uh, you can't get it constantly here in life. 
And I think it's just it's such a funny experiment, in, at least in my head. Why, why can't we do X thing, but we can't do the other thing? Uh, like why can we uh, why is it good to I, I, I want to say why, why can't we uh, if we have so many problems uh, coming from a population with uh, and I know it's important for this is just pure thought it's not uh, on top of my head it's not thought through in that literal sense but just an experiment. Why? Why can we, genetically, genetically, um, constantly modify things we want with pills and such, constantly, where people are making tons of cash of it, but we don't want to go in and implement it. Um, at least there's a social standard that we don't want to even use the experiment in our heads, with going in and trying to solve it genetically from this from infancy uh, or from the point of you being uh, coming down here to earth <laughs> for your mother <laughs> sorry that got random but um but yeah why on earth can't we just do it i know it's way too simplified but even the experiment with saying it people get mad as shit but but yet then again why why can't we? I, I, I can't see anything else than just these stupid pharmacy fabrics um, who, who are making so many money, so much money, so much cash, and cash to the state as well, who don't want it to change. <laughs> and I'm not saying that this is just an example of how I'm thinking, and I'm not saying it's going to be this way and should be that way either. I'm just saying, why can't we ask, ask a question without having like a repercussion of shitstorm coming the other way from, from people? Uh, and to me, it's, it's on the same level as asking, digging further down into a person's dilemma or personal something question. Again, why can't you ask? Why is that a standard that you may not ask about it? It seems like everybody is fighting for their own little right to have power. And power, in, in, in certain terms, is knowing something. Knowledge is power. Away, oh, cliche. But I just think it's, it's, it's just so stupid. It, 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 it doesn't mean, make any sense. And I know people... People... Uh, the population of this earth, of, of my nation, whatever, doesn't make sense. You can see it throughout uh, history, constantly things going awry. But, but you know, then again, we always have that, that thought in the back of our head. We want peace of mind. We want, yeah, peace, love, and uh, all those things. But, but yet, then again, we also want the other thing. But we don't want to ask, uh, above asking ourselves, why are we constantly going wrong in seeking the ambitions we want? Why do we constantly settle for saying such things as, well, well, we can't win every battle. We can't, uh, you can't win every, everything. You can't do the X, Y, and C. Well, and I'm not saying you can. I'm just saying... Why can't we ask about it? Why do po people get butt hurt when you're saying, well, why are you not making a better effort? Why, uh, or why am I not doing it better, a, a better job with handling myself? Why am I not doing the right steps? And the right steps, for example, for me, is not probably school or doing other things. And I know some, some people might not be able to think this way, but at least, why are we... Why, uh, it's just a general question. Why do everything surrounding us about getting back to the track has to do something with education or with getting knowledge from somebody else? You can gain knowledge from yourself. You don't need to run a crash course in learning yourself you don't need to run a marathon even though I have done that and it's piss 
piss chuckingly boring. Uh, you you can learn from yourself constantly if you're just asking yourself why. And yeah, there might not be an answer, not a clear one, but at least you asked it. And at least you you threatened your own power. You threatened your own vision. Yeah. And you can say, go fuck yourself with it. But really, it's just so simple. Why can't you ask why?